Good afternoon and welcome to Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. And joining me at HQ is Ed Coughlin. He's Director of Trading Services at NASDAQ. And we're here to talk about NASDAQ's closing cross. Ed, thank you very much for joining us I'm on the show here. today. And just explain to the audience what exactly is the NASDAQ closing cross. Uh, so the closing cross itself is kind of that single moment in time at the end of the day that we gather all the buyers and sellers and we're able to arrive at the closing transaction price. And that price is used to value mutual funds, index funds, portfolios all around the world. So this is the most important part of the day or one of the most important parts of the day? In, in terms of transaction, it's the largest trade that happens mm -hmm. during the day and it's the single point that we can bring everyone together to have price formation at what I would call the best optimal price. So, well, this kind of answers itself, but why is NASDAQ so committed to innovating with the closing cross? Uh, when you look at the cross itself being that important time mm -hmm. of the day, um, NASDAQ believe with passive investing is becoming more and more popular and that the cross itself is being used or the reference for the cross price being used for more and more valuation purposes and more and more derivative instruments and we're trying to make sure that that cross uh, re receives what I would call the best possible opportunity for price discovery among the wide constituents participants that trade around the close. And what are some of the enhancements? That have been made. Um, so what we've done is we've given uh, firms more flexibility to interact with the close. Um, we've given them the ability to enter orders to be able to respond to the imbalances. Today at 350, we publish to the world what the cross looks like, where the cross is going to go off, where we estimate the cross is going to go off, and now we're going to be introduce an order type that says, "Hey, we now know what the imbalances are. You can come in and trade against that imbalance." And what we hope has that price will lead to what I would call better price formation. More can people competing to trade to be able to participate in that price. So the overall benefit to that would be better price discovery? Well, when we look at the institutional component mm -hmm. of firms trading in the close, those are large buyers and sellers around the close. We want to get them to what I would call the, the best recognized price that if we have buyers, sellers, short sellers, that can all participate at a single moment in time. And this new order type lends itself to being able to create better price discovery at the close. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. And traders, as always, thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.